Welcome to our weekly maritime video blog. I'm Corey Ransom with International Maritime Security Associates. This week, we're gonna tackle crew resource management. Crew resource management is an extremely important part of how we do what we do on board the bridge of a ship, whether it's a cargo line, a cruise line, or a large yacht. Most experts believe that around 75% or more of accidents that happen in the maritime industry happen because of a, a dysfunctional bridge um, and maritime resource management team. So we thought we'd take a little bit of time to highlight some of the topics and some of the highlights of crew resource management on board a ship. Now there's a little bit of a history behind this. Crew resource management was really born out of the aviation industry. Back in the late 70s, early 80s, there are a number of aviation accidents that the NTSB had attributed to lack of communication and kind of crew resource management in the cockpit. Um, of airliner. So this big program was undertaken really to bring what was called cockpit resource management into aviation where it would improve the situational awareness and communication between the pilots who were trying to execute this mission. And this program over the years has evolved quite a bit and has been very successful. Crew resource management is the term that's used in the maritime industry, and that is now continuing to evolve. Here in 2017, we've seen a number of very high profile accidents involving military vessels, involving large yachts, involving cargo lines, and even in a couple of cases, cruise lines. So one of the things we thought would be important to talk about as we get to the end of the year here is crew resource management and just highlight a couple of areas. I believe, and from my experience on board the Coast Guard cutters that I was a part of, that the crew resource management that we had was extremely important to the success of that mission. And that really started with the captain. I was very blessed in the fact that on the cutters I was on, I served with some extremely talented individuals as captains, and they really were the people to set the tone for the rest of the ship and were the kind of the linchpin to good crew resource management. And all of the captains that I had the opportunity to serve with on the cutters made one thing very clear to the entire bridge team before we um, undertook uh, very serious operations that communication, regardless of your position or your rank, was extremely important because it was everybody's responsibility to keep the ship out of trouble. And that really played into uh, a number of people speaking up in situations where they saw something that other people didn't necessarily see. So the captain on board our cutters really fostered that crew resource management to give the opportunity for everybody to be able to speak up to put forward something that may endanger the vessel. And there were a number of times that through really good crew resource management, we were able to navigate through some very tricky and difficult situations very safely because of how the bridge team worked together. We weren't always perfect because we're human and humans, we do make errors, but if we have a good team in place to be able to execute on that, that's how we can get through some of these trickier situations in a much better outcome than we've seen when there's an accident so with crew resource management, there's just a couple of areas I wanted to talk about. First, kind of break it down. There's two really main teams that are a part of this that combine together to really make the whole team. So one is you obviously you have your bridge resource management team. That would be the watch and the officers who are on the bridge kind of controlling the direction, navigation, and the movement of the ship. The other piece to that is what you'd call your engineering resource management or your team that's running the engineering plant. And it's extremely important during critical vessel operations that these two teams are able to effectively communicate because if there is a problem in the engineering side, that can cause huge problems on the bridge and navigation side. So communication between those two teams is important. But also as part of that, your lookouts and other ancillary personnel that you use 
along with the bridge and the engineering resource management team really make up what you call your maritime resource management team. And that team together is responsible for the safe navigation of the ship. The communication and the tone is always typically set by your lead or by the captain and then flows through the rest of the team. You always wanna work in an environment where everybody has the ability to be able to speak out about a danger that they may see. It's extremely important for vessel operations for that to happen. Another um, big piece, besides communication in our crew resource management is situational awareness. You have to be aware of what is going on around you from a navigation standpoint, a weather standpoint, a risk management standpoint, an engineering standpoint. You have to have a good picture of what is going on around you. And that's extremely important before you undertake a mission um, of critical significance when you're navigating in low visibility, when you're navigating in and out of a tight channel, when you're navigating in, in shallow water depths, that you have a good situational awareness brief to go in to say, here's what we're going to do, but if we have a problem, here's how we're going to execute on some of the problems. And we always did that every time we entered into tight navigation in the Coast Guard, that we knew exactly what we were going to do if we lost steering control, if we lost engines. Um, on some of these situations, that could potentially happen. We knew immediately how to execute to safely bring the vessel to, to a stop so that we could go through and then try to figure out what was wrong. So that situational awareness is key and important. So you have communication, good situational awareness, and the last thing that I think is extremely important that you need for good crew resource management is trust. The team has to be able to work together and trust each other on what their jobs are. Trust is an is a, is a very big factor when it comes to that. In the Coast Guard, we trusted each other in our jobs and worked together to help each other out to really push forward on some, on some very critical missions that could have had much different outcomes if we didn't trust each other in the ability to do kind of what we needed to do in that situation. So, crew resource management, an extremely important part of your overall bridge and maritime resource management when it comes to vessel operations. In the maritime industry, if we can continue to make improvements in this area, I believe that we'll see the number of accidents and the severity of accidents start to go down. Hey, thanks for joining us this week on our weekly video blog. We really appreciate all of our viewers and everybody who interacts with us on social media. Make sure you connect to us through our social media and join the conversation. Our social media is detailed in the banner above and also in the comments section below. Make sure you hit the like button on all the videos that you like and we invite you to subscribe to this channel so you get notified when we put new content out across all of our topic headings. If there's anything that we can do from a company perspective for maritime regulatory compliance, for risk management, or you have questions about different facilities and locations around the world in the maritime realm when it comes to security and risk management, don't hesitate to reach out to our experts because we're always happy to steer you in the right direction.